Head coach Tim Rebo, who begins his second season with the Colonels. Joining Coach Rebo today are preseason first team all conference defensive back BT Sanders and quarterback Toscani Figaro, both seniors. We'd also like to point out uh, Nickel Sports Information Director Jamie Bustos, who will be able to also help you with any questions. Uh, coach Rebo, if you'd like to give us, uh, get us started with an opening statement. Yeah, thank you very much. I'd like to uh, first of all thank the commissioner, Tom Burnett, and his staff. Outstanding job putting on a first class event uh, here at uh, La Burge. And Media Day is always an exciting time, and they, they do a great job with all the support. And we just uh, pleased to be here. I'm honored to be at my second uh, Southland Conference Media Day uh, and, and be part of what I think is the best conference in the country. And uh, we have some outstanding, outstanding coaches, some good leaders of men and some fantastic football players that can compete anywhere in the country. And to be a part of that is really, really, truly uh, a blessing. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been on the field. It seems like it's, it's, it's been forever. Um, the season flew by last year. We, we had an early spring. Uh, you know, we have to deal with Mardi Gras and, and uh, the, the Easter break, so we went early on the field. Uh, we've had a long, productive summer, a uh, hot summer. Uh, we've got a lot of work done. I think like everyone else, we're, we're very enthusiastic about getting the season started. We report on August the 7th and we start practice on August the 8th. We, uh, we, we have an open date, our first game of the season. So uh, we're reporting a little bit later that there's a lot, a lot of preparation that has to go into us getting ready for our opener uh, against the Georgia Bulldogs on September the 10th. Um, so with that, I'd like to turn it over to senior quarterback Toscani Figaro and then uh, senior B.T. Sanders. Um, good morning. Uh, first time here and uh, excited. Um, coach invited me and I uh, appreciate it a lot. I want to thank Coach and everybody in the Southland um, and everybody at Nichols that represents us and um, gets our name out there and my teammates. And um, I'm excited about this year. Um, ready to play ball. It's going to be a good season, I feel. I feel that like we got a great chance this year. Um, first game is going to be a tough one. I'm ready for it. Uh, thank you. Um, good morning. I'm happy to be here. It's a little bit less nerve wracking the second time. <laughs> but um, I'm excited for the season. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad I was chosen to represent my school on this exciting day. And I'm um, just excited all around. OK, just as a reminder, we do have microphones on the floor. If you have a question, just please raise your hand. We will get you uh, the, the microphone and just identify yourself and your media agency. Hi, Coach. Mike Eggenheim with uh, Baton Rouge Advocate. Uh, how is this offseason, your second time around, different from the first one? It was just, it was such a learning process, uh, not only for the coaching staff and our guys to get together and learn each other, but to learn all the players uh, and, then, and then put in our system and uh, have those guys believe in the system. Last year, I thought uh, the guys kind of went in blind. You know, uh, they trusted in us. Uh, you know, they wanted some change. They wanted some success. Uh, and, then, and we had a little success. We had some small victories along the way last year. So I think this off season, the expectations were a little bit different. And uh, some of these guys, you know, they, they buy into the program. They, they believe in it. And, uh, and they know that it, it's, it's going to be different this year. You know, every team is different, that uh, we're going to have to step our game up and, you know, to, to uh, get a few more victories this year. But I think them believing in the system and believing in the process that it does work uh, ha has been the big difference. To kind of follow up on that, just how has it been different with, uh, instead of going into this offseason with a, a massive losing streak, going off on, on a win, especially over a rival like Southeastern? Well, any time you can ask any coach that you can win your last game of the year, it, it, it just helps going into the offseason. And uh, in the dramatic fashion that we won the last game and uh, against an outstanding team, Southeastern was the defending you know, champs, and uh, Coach Robinson doing a great job. And just to win that on the road and the way we did it, it just created a lot of momentum uh, you know, for the school, for the fans, and for, for our football team in the offseason. So I think that was the big thing. Now, you, you'd, you'd want to say we win in our last game of the season. Uh, there's only you know, so, so many teams are happy at the end of the year. You'd like it to be in the playoffs and uh, down the road. But uh, just for us to get the monkey off the back, those players had the long losing streak that we got that off 
uh, uh, early in the season and then finish strong like we did, it, it was a big step for our program. Uh, Coach Alex Sicky, Lake Charles American Press. Not that your early season schedule is a walk in the park, but I mean, you do get to play at home in September. Uh, just do you feel like there's a better chance to, to start this year on a positive note and keep that going instead of kind of being in a hole with all those money games stacked together as they've been the past couple seasons? You know, la last year was difficult. Um, Again, we had an open date the first game of the year, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, you know, several reasons. You, you start the season off, everybody's excited about college football, and, and then we're not there, we're not playing. Uh, we, we, we build that as a positive, we get our guys ready. But, and, and then on the, on the flip side of that, you got to go play 11 straight weekends, well, which is tough to do, the wear and tear. Uh, also, last year was pretty tough because we had four uh, road games you know, to start the season. So to be home early is a big boost. Our fans are excited. Uh, we, we get the, our, our schedule falls where it's pretty good home away, home away. We have five home games this year, which is another big plus for us. So uh, I, I like our schedule the rest of the way, how it's set up. So, uh, the, those first game, the money games, you know, it, it's the necessary evil. It's what, it's what we have to do. Uh, we'll go out there. We'll compete. But I, I do like the way our schedule sets up down the road. For BT, uh, oh, uh, uh, that that first game against Georgia, what's it like just going into to such a, a massive game to start off the season like that? Um, those those big games, those are always great experiences for for everybody. Um, it's always a, I don't know, it's like it's because we all feel like we can play with anybody. I mean, it's just as a man, just. Um, being able to compete against the best and seeing how you stack up against the best and doing your best to win your one-on-one every rep. I mean, that's like working out this whole offseason. That's what I'm looking forward to, playing against the best. BT in Tuscany, uh, how different does this season feel? I mean, you go into last year, having an entire season of losses hanging on your head, to have that river bell and I guess a full year under Coach Rebo, just how much is the attitude different for you right now? The attitude um, <clears throat> has changed a lot. Um, with them, new coaches coming in, we, uh, a lot of the players felt um, that we, you know, we, we kind of were excited when Coach Rebo came in and he brought in a lot of enthusiasm. And it changed the atmosphere because, you know, before we were a little down a little bit and it wasn't as exciting. And he brought that extra enthusiasm and he got on us to make sure we were enthused about it every day. And it helped. We, we changed our attitude. We were enthused to go to practice and go to, go to workouts, summer training, spring training, everything like that. So, and it, it affected the season. You know, when we had a tough loss in the past, it would, it, it would hurt. It would hurt the team and you know, a lot of players would break down. Um, but this past year, when we had a tough loss, we would we would still come together. We would get a little closer. So um, that was big for us moving as a team. And I think this year, um, after a year of of learning the system and being f more familiar with each other, I think we'll have a uh, we'll win more than three games. And um, going into last season, it was it was kind of I mean it was it was. Depression, but it was exciting still to, to know that we had all the changes that we were putting in, and we were excited to to turn it around. And to going into this season, I feel like we're still excited. We're going to build off last season because I mean, it's obvious that we weren't where we wanted to be. But this season, we're trying to even elevate the expectations and where we and uh, show what we all that we have to give. Coach, when you lose uh, your top two rushers, uh, what does that kind of do for the offense? And then how much more pressure does that put on Tuscany to, to really perform in the running game there? Uh, last year, Tobias Lofton and Michael Henry was uh, an outstanding one-two punch combination for us. It, it's going to hurt us a lot. Uh, we're going to have to have a couple young guys step up. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to use the, the running back by committee, but 
uh, we, we may have to do that until somebody steps up and takes charge of that. Um, I, I think it starts with him right here being the leader and being the, the, the guy on offense. Uh, he'll take charge of that group. But he's got some good guys around him, and, and that's what we're trying to build on. And, and I really believe it's going to start up front where we have a lot of experience coming back on the offensive line, and I think that should relieve some of the pressure and take some of that off of, of the entire offense. BT and Toscani, how has Coach Rebo impacted your careers, and, and where has he made the biggest difference with this program over the last two seasons? Um, he gave, he brought in a, a spark for me. Um, uh, being injured my, my freshman year was tough, and then uh, redshirted my junior year was tough as well. Um, and you know, a little bit of the, you know, the kind of spark was fading, and you know, he brought in and he, uh, he sparked me back up, ready to play, ready to compete um, in, in practices and in the games. And uh, he brings that, I think he brings that with a lot of players, you know, and when, when he came in. And it is still doing it to the current players we have now and the incoming freshmen. Everybody wants to compete. Everybody wants to play. And that's only going to make the team better as a whole. If everybody's competing and pushing each other, the team, um, I think we can only get better. Kind of the same what he said, um, just the, the positivity. Like, always looking at the glasses half full, like trying to find the positive in everything. Even in the games, we seem like we didn't do anything right here. Show us the film um, and when we come in that Monday of all the good things we did and just how close we were to the things going the other way. Tuscany, uh, you had a bit, I guess, of an unorthodox redshirt as a junior. Uh, what was it like going through that? And I guess, do you see maybe the, the pieces falling into place because it allows you to be a senior going into this season with this team and, and Obviously, uh, a chance for more positive things to, to happen um, for Nichols. <laughs> yeah, very unorthodox. Um, sitting down with uh, Coach Stubbs at the time, um, he let me know um, why, uh, what were the reasons for doing it. And um, at the time, it was a little frustrating uh, coming from my sophomore season and ready to you know, perform better my junior year. Um, but at the end of that year and you know now currently you know it kind of worked out so um, I'm happy for it you know, I took it in I learned that season uh, I took bits and pieces from um, what Bo and Kalen were doing at the time and you know coach Axman when he came in uh, so it was it was a learning experience for me and uh, I, I think I'm better for it and then currently now um, like you said for this season to have a better season um, I feel real confident about this season. I'm real excited, you know, ready for it to begin.